of the world's largest and oldest Jewish film festivals has returned to Washington, D.C. The Washington Jewish Film Festival showcases films from around the world, this year showing 55 films from 15 countries. The idea is to promote and preserve Jewish heritage and tradition, helped in part by this year's special guest, actor Elliot Gould. He's a star known the world over having appeared in more than 100 films during his more than 50-year career. Golden Globe and Oscar-nominated actor Elliot Gould came to introduce his new film and have a few photos taken. <laughs> Dorfman, the centrepiece film of this year's festival, sees Gould playing a widowed father who moves in with his 28-year-old daughter. What, are you trying to pick up sailors? Why, why, why does he have a suitcase? Well, because Pop missed you. The actor has said before that he has a very deep Jewish identity. It's something that's naturally at the heart of all his films. I'm a, a Jew from the tips of my toes to uh, what's left of my curls. And he's amazed he, or indeed any Jew, is in a position to make movies. How important is it uh, for, their, for the Jews to endure, survive and continue to uh, produce art and culture and come out? So how important is, is it? Uh, it's miraculous. It's a miracle that we're here and that we're working and, and, and we're free. Well, what's the matter with her today? Look, Mother, I want to go to work in one hour. We are the pros from Dover. For many, it was the 1970 Korean War satire, MASH, that brought Gould to the public's attention. From his humble beginnings in New York, where his father worked as a textiles buyer and his mother a flower seller, Gould says it often surprises him that his profession has made him in some ways an unofficial spokesman for Jewish affairs. I couldn't have imagined that one like me, Elliot Goldstein, from 6801 Bay Parkway, Brooklyn 4, New York, PS 247, the Seth Lowe Junior High, the Professional Children's School and uh, West Orange High School could get to the front and participate and contribute and I'm there. Now in its 23rd year, the Washington Jewish Film Festival shows Jewish films and filmmaking from around the world, helping to spread Jewish culture throughout the nation's capital and beyond. It's important both to the Jewish community and to the community outside of Judaism. I think that the Jewish experience is often stereotyped into being one single small thing and one of the main goals of this film festival is to show um, the entire range and broad aspects of the Jewish experience, whether that be Jews from Nigeria, which one of our films is about, the Igbo people. The Jewish experience can be um, looked at through a lot of different angles and lenses. The festival shows work from 15 different countries, including Nigeria and Serbia. Israeli films are of course well represented, with almost a third of this year's 55 movies coming from Israel, including A Bottle in the Gaza Sea, a drama that looks at tensions between Israelis and Palestinians through a relationship between two teenagers, divided by long-standing hatreds. There's also the 1944 propaganda film, The Fuhrer Gives a City to the Jews. Made by Joseph Goebbels in the former Czechoslovakia, it was intended to show the world how well treated the Jews were inside a ghetto concentration camp. Don't you people know any songs that we would like to hear? What about uh, Hava Nagila? Ah, what? Hava, Merry Christmas, Hava. Merry Christmas, non Christian friend. And the documentary Hava Nagila exploring the history of the traditional folk song, from its composition to becoming perhaps the most famous Jewish song in the world. It's Jewish. All of which are appreciated by the moviegoers, who see this as a great opportunity for Jewish culture. It exposes people to thinking a different way, and I think these films, some of them have very broad audience appeal, so I'm sure there are non-Jews who come, and I think that's good. It gives, I guess, up-and-coming um, writers, Jewish writers, an opportunity, a venue to get their work out, and I think it's good for the Jewish community also brings us together and you get to see some wonderful films. That's the bottom line, isn't it?
And there's hope the festival may see another future appearance from Elliot Gould, who says he has no plans to stop doing what he loves. No, no, no plans to retire. You know, I mean, I, I've said I don't think old. I think like a baby taking his first steps. Uh, and I recently turned 74. And I have a friend who's 98 uh, who is, uh, plays tennis on uh, Saturdays and on Wednesdays and is still acting. And uh, no, I have no plans to retire so long as I have my uh, faculty. The organizers of Washington's 23rd Jewish Film Festival hope that it'll once again promote Jewish films and open them up to a larger American audience. They also hope to show that Jewish filmmaking can be funny, dramatic, complex, challenging, but always enjoyable. This is Nick Harper for JN1 in Washington, D.C.